welcome back to my video this uh, this video is uh, is about uh, if you want to use uh, a Cisco switch because uh, Cisco switch is uh, convenient you can create mo multiple subnet or multiple VLAN and you, you don't have to buy uh, one box for just one subnet and another box for another subnet so in this case we will just create one subnet as on my previous two videos, the reason for creating mul uh, multiple subnets is so that uh, we will ease up that the, the network traffic. Unlike with the most configuration of a small business to medium business, most of them are just created in one subnet. So in this case, uh, I, I have another uh, diagram here that I will add uh, a Cisco switch with uh, I, I just add uh, two uh, subnet for now or two VLANs. Uh, VLAN 100 and VLAN 200. Uh, VLAN 100 is for the subnet, uh, new subnet 10.1.2.0 and the other subnet is 10.1.3.0 If you will see my um, switch iOS I just created a VLAN 100 for uh, name it user, VLAN 200 uh, name that as printer and I just create. I used it, this port for now for for user is one to, to eight, and printer is nine to sixteen. Uh, let's go to my uh, DC one. On the DC one, I uh, enable this uh, graphic uh, routing uh, and remote access. This is uh, configured as LAN. Um, I have to add the uh, static routes so that my uh, we will name the. Uh, actually before we do that well, what we need to do on the active directory is to create the subnets the new subnet B and the new subnet C okay this is the car uh, the, pre the current one or the the first one so after you create that you go back to your DC one and uh, on the remote access again you need to, to, to put the static routes and they are just pointing to the gateway so the gateway is uh, address is 1.50 and on this destination is also the same gate, uh, gateway so if we go to the gateway um, we have we have also three uh, NIC because one is uh, subnet B and subnet A this is the 1.50 with the routing on that uh, DC1 1.100 and uh, subnet C which is 350 so uh, the next thing you need to do is to create the super scope for the subnet B and subnet C when you create a super scope for subnet B and C you need to separate them previously I have an error I create one super scope for the this two and all the time of course, the, the, the one that only being uh, serving is the subnet B. So that's, that's an error. So you have to create a super scope and a scope on subnet, subnet C uh, alone. So just, just take a look on this video if you, if you will create it later on. And again, this is running on DC2. And as, as I said, it's better to put the credentials here otherwise your super scoping will not work and even if you don't have super scope that's again advised by Microsoft now let's go back to the gateway as I said the gateway the reason for the gateway is uh, it's the gateway or our, our router and also the DHCP relay so that's why I didn't advise why do you need to put a router and a gateway uh, DHCP uh, relay at the same time so just put in one so uh, as I said the properties on the global DHCP is pointing to the DC2 because that's a D that's your DHCP server and in this case since you have multiple uh, interface you need to create an interface for subnet B just use the default I just use the default and subnet C and use the default and I think that's it so um, I just created my testing here on XP2 this is subnet B and it's giving me the proper 
um, scope which is this is the scope for subnet B and on subnet C is of course giving me the subnet C and another subnet C let's try to ping um, XP2 on subnet B from from subnet C and it is going to ping so it's go it's, it's pinging the, the by name although it's on a different uh, subnet so let's ping sub uh, DC2 if it's going to ping so it's working so let's check if they still uh, renew the I mean repair the proper uh, subnet which is this is subnet C and it's still subnet C scope and this one is subnet B and still subnet B scope so it's wor still working fine and let me try to ping XP3 here which is on subnet from subnet B to subnet C ping and it's working and another uh, convenient that uh, if you are just, just using the server as a router or, or gateway you don't need to, uh, to, 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 to have problems with the access list or, or the nothing because you don't need to not anything with the uh, with with Windows 2003. Just install this uh, uh, routing and remote access, and it's, it's it's mandatory anyway because that's the only thing that you can install this uh, this uh, protocol DHCP relay agent. Um, this will conclude my video on uh, adding a router, a Cisco switch for your for your subnetting.